everybody knows a lot about the Second World War. Everybody's read lots of novels, and many people have read some non-fiction books about the Second World War. It's a popular subject to study in school as well. Uh, so so um, when I came to write the second book, Winter of the World, it was quite a different challenge. Writing the first book, Fall of Giants, I knew that, that my, my readers would know very little. Uh, there were one or two scenes that were, would be familiar. For example, the Battle of the Somme which most people know something about. At least they know that it was awful and, uh, the, and muddy and raining and very bloody and tens of thousands of men died. They know that. So that was a challenge. I had to present that scene in a way that would be fresh and not cliched. But most of Fall of Giants uh, was new. I knew it would be new to my readers quite different with Winter of the World. And so in dealing with World War II and the Holocaust uh, and things, the, the atom bomb, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, in dealing with all of those things, I had to find fresh ways to tell a story that is to some extent familiar, uh, which was a challenge, but um, I mean a good challenge because it made me think differently.